Hello, my name is Greta Gasser. I am a pianist, a piano teacher, and I'm also the owner of Gasser Music Studio. I studied at the Royal Northern College of Music, where I did both my undergrad and postgraduate studies in piano performance. So we had a lot of uh, opportunities to perform in public. In my master's studies, I could take more control over my studies and I could create my own path, which was, uh, was amazing. And I uh, chose to focus a lot on pedagogy and teaching because that's uh, one of my passions. Having a master's degree is really useful because it really gives you the confidence uh, to find your own voice. And it also gives you the opportunity to do a lot of performing, which is very, very important when you start to develop your own career afterwards. They start, there are various levels of performing. You can have um, classes with your teachers where you play for other students. You can then have public concerts at the RNCM where people come and watch you. It can be quite scary, but also exciting. Uh, you can play with orchestras. Uh, there's also external opportunities. So people can be offered uh, to play with uh, at the Bridgewater Hall or Albert Hall, which is an amazing opportunity to do that while you're still a student. It's, it's amazing. So um, my advice for anyone who wants to study music at a, uh, in higher education would be to take advantage of all the opportunities given, given to you because there's so much to do and the more you can do, the better prepared you are for when you graduate. And take charge of your learning. If you're interested in something, go ask your teachers, they're there to help you and get all the advice you can get from them because they are amazing. I mean, this is a big, very uh, big subject talking about uh, performance anxiety and stage fright. I think all performance, uh, performers have that to some degree. And, uh, but I think what really helped me, and I'm sure others, was the chance to do it. Performing is, you have to practice performing in the same way you have to practice uh, your pieces. So the, uh, what helped at the RNCM was the fact that we were given the chance to play a lot in school, outside of school, and that kind of teaches you how to handle those nerves better. So my experience as a pianist was very, very important in my teaching uh, because it just meant I can relate to my pupils. One of the things I love most about teaching is seeing my pupils get that confidence and that love of performing and sharing the music, because music is made to be shared, it's not just for ourselves, so really love that. And um, it's, it's very, very important for me as a teacher to encourage them to express their emotions because music is a friend for life, really. So it's lovely to see them get the confidence. Like I said, I really love teaching from, from the beginning. I started teaching in Romania. We had a project in orphanages. And I think that one event really changed a bit the uh, trajectory of my career. I then continued when I came to the UK. I continued teaching here in my undergrad. And then I really felt confident enough to start my own my own studio, so I I started it as an undergrad actually, and then I continued continued building it up. Uh, as a pianist, obviously you have to practice your pieces and you have to perform and connect with audiences. As a teacher, you have to connect with your pupils. It's all about connecting, I think, which is actually what music is about, isn't it? It's connecting to people, and um, I I love that about teaching as well. So uh, in the beginning, obviously, my main goal was to become a pianist and uh, perform. But then in time, I think my, my uh, sh uh, perspective shifted a bit and I found so much joy. As much joy as I found in performing, I found in sharing music with others and making them really engage with it and engage with me. So I started then to really uh, focus more on teaching. It's now exciting that I get to teach at the RNCM. I have some seminar groups where I teach others how to teach, which is amazing. I never thought that this is going to happen, but this is where kind of my career took me and where it is at the moment. My advice for people who want to enter the music industry and want to work in this interest industry is to have a very strong ethic. Nobody likes to come uh, to the rehearsals and wait half an hour for you to find your music. Nobody likes someone who's late or uh, who never knows what they're doing. So be on time, be ready, be extra ready if you want, and people are going to give you more and more work and more re um, give you more responsibilities. Uh, another thing you could do is to make sure you really treat people 
fairly and nicely. You just never know who's going to give you your next job. It's such a small industry. Everyone knows everyone. You might upset someone and they might know someone else and you just, just never know. So just be a nice person uh, and, you know, engage with people in a friendly manner. And the final advice would probably be try to learn as much as you can. You know, learning never stops in music or in any creative, you know, job never stops. So learn as much as you can, take as many opportunities as you can. Um, even the smallest thing can lead to an amazing thing later down the road.